guys, this is Teacher Lalo and I say hello to all the SEHEM students. I prepared this video guys to speak about the topic of the week. You will be working with this this week. Okay? And that topic is interviews. We will speak about interviews and how to do a proper interview. Speaking about energy, speaking about questions, speaking about some tips and advice that I will give you so you can prepare your own interviews. Choose a person in your house or probably you can double do the role play. You can play like two characters to make the interview with yourselves. Okay guys? So since I don't want you to be and to go and to feel this situation here. We gotta go to the Drew, the farm kid. How you doing there, Pally? Right now, you know, I know he can't say anything right now, but you know what he's saying right now? E, 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 e <laughs> equals MC squared. Get the camera off my face. I'll take this cantaloupe. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh Dan, don't I'd make, make a him politician. cry. That's terrible. I love him. Well, I prepared the following presentation. Now, let's go. Well, guys, the presentation is how to do an interview. I'm not speaking and I'm not telling you which questions exactly uh, you need to use. I will speak more about the ad attitude, some advice, something that you need to do the interview a bit more interesting. And let's get started. The first thing that you should consider is that you need to have previous information about the person you're going to interview. Something like who the person is, what the person does, uh, the motivations of, of that person, if, if the person has passions and what people, uh, well, the person that you will interview likes or hates. It is very important because you will not have any kind of surprises when you start, like, you know, making the questions, okay? So before you make even contact with the person, before even you ask the permission to interview the person, okay, you need to know previous information. It's not the same, the attitude that you will go and, and take if you're gonna interview Conor McGregor, than Papa Francisco, right? So the previous information about what the, those people like or dislike will help you to guide the way of uh, uh, you will handle or manage to them the type of questions, the topics that you uh, don't have any problems. Like in the video that, uh, that, that I show you where, where the little girl gets really angry, okay? Previous information is very important. Now, uh, you have to be sure about the reason of the interview. What would you like to have with an interview, okay? You need to define and then when you have defined the objective of your interview, then you can contact the person you're gonna interview, okay? Because uh, when you contact the person, you will be able to tell the person, you know, this interview is to get this type of information and I would like to show your friendly side. It depends on you, okay? But you need to define uh, why would you like to do the interview, okay? Once that you define that, you now are able to tell the person that you would like to interview that you want to interview the person and you will explain uh, why would you like to have that interview it is very important because you will tell the interviewed what you need from that person and he or she will tell you they will tell you back if they are able to give it to you or not okay so you don't get them called they know uh, exactly what you are gonna speak try not to improvise or if you are gonna improvise use the previous information not to get a, a, a awful surprise when you're inside a, of the interview then it is very important guys your energy and your attitude for two reasons you don't want the person you're getting the interview with to get bored and you don't want people that watch your video or read your interviews to get bored as well it is very important that you show emotions, that you are expressive, that you, mm, uh, you let the audience and the interview know that you are enjoying about the interview. For sure, your audience and the interview will show the same. And this tip is very important. Here it goes. The person will give something to you. You do the same for the person. What? I mean, 
make sure that your interview mm, that person knows that uh, he or she is giving you something important for you value knowledge or recognition and you do the same with a person okay every time they answer something that you consider valuable make it notice okay be thankful uh, probably you can get your opinion as well if if you are confident and if you know about the topic otherwise you let the person know that he or she gave you knowledge for instance that you know now something that you didn't know before this interview or re recognition it's very important energy attitude and gratitude okay now when you ask those uh, these advice are very important uh, you have to do questions that uh, let you know the other person okay you have previous knowledge and then you have to conduct your questions so the audience can know what you would like them to know about the person you are interviewing and uh, the second one here it is very important guys very important and i'm sorry it's very important you need to talk only 20 percent and you let the other person speak 80 percent so you will listen more than you will speak okay you will listen more than you will speak 20 percent speaking to uh, the uh, other 80 percent will be the other person speaking to you okay so you listen 80 percent then you will contribute to what the person said you you don't repeat exactly what the person said but you will contribute probably with a conclusion making conclusions drawing conclusions uh, is very important for a nice feedback of the interview then every time not all the time but every time you can and you see that it is uh, possible you will thank for the answers okay I, I really appreciate it that's very interesting wow i didn't know that remember attitude and expression uh, other thing is you have to get adapted to the personality of the person you are uh, speaking to if he's very ingoing well, probably you, you will have to be surrounding the person you will not be very direct with the questions but if the person is very outgoing probably you just need to set some words and the other person will speak uh, its mouth out okay um, I would recommend you guys not to just do closed questions like straight questions it is more important that you have a nice conversation with a person like a nice chat you are talking and inside of that talk you will show your questions it is more possible that the other person the, the one that you're interviewing feels more comfortable if you are having a nice conversation okay if you just do straight question called questions probably the person will feel like they're with a police uh, officer and they will feel probably not that comfortable okay so it's better if you have a friendly and nice talking with that is like going very organic and natural and then you show the questions inside of that chat okay and don't forget about the body language since you're gonna do the interview through videos the body language is essential okay you can see here in the picture Michael Jackson is being interviewed but Oprah Wilfred, Oprah is uh, showing that she's interested. Check the shoulders, the position of the shoulders. Check the expression of the face. She's very interested in the things that Michael Jackson is saying. Imagine if she had a different body language where she looks or bored or distracted or she turns and sees something or someone that uh, walks you know, next to the stage in this case. Uh, that would uh, decrease the quality of your interview so body language uh, that shows that you're interested in what the person is telling you okay and at the at the end guys don't forget that you have to draw conclusions if the person told you well uh, I really like to be with my family uh, this quarantine I have been enjoying about my daughter or my kids probably your conclusions your conclusions could be uh, it, I consider that family time is essential and it's very important in these days that technology uh, has stolen 
part of the essential life. A positive thing of the quarantine is staying more time with the family and I agree. Okay guys, well, uh, I hope you don't have any questions and I will go with the last part of the video where you'll be able to know what to do. Well guys, I hope the presentation helps you a lot. Okay guys, and I will tell you exactly what you are going to do. If you are second semester of SECAM, you will have to do an interview, no more than three minutes, in a video, and you will speak on the interview. The main topic of the interview will be the technology, how the technology affects your life, and most specifically your life in the high school way. Okay? Second semester, SECAM, you will do the interview with someone in your house, with someone in your family, through a video conference, or probably you can do the double play, the double role play, speaking about the, the interview, the technology in your life. If you are four semester, you will do the same three minute stops in a video. Could, a could be with a family, could be with your own, uh, I mean, acting to characters. But your topic, guys, will be here, the friendship. The friendship along and through your professional and personal life four semester friendship personal and professional life and if you are from six semester guys okay if you're from six semester guys you will speak about some life experiences of close people to you close people to you that have studied and worked in something how is the experience of those people in the laboral job way as well as in the, the choosing of the career. They chose a career, now they work in that career, they get paid, what are the life experiences, okay? Got it, guys? Well, those videos will be uploaded in your Drive account of IPEF, the Google Drive. You will upload the video, and then you will share the video with your teachers. If you are my students, just with me, if you're the student of Manolo, just with Manolo, or just with Miss Pan, or just with Miss Lilian, okay, through Schoology, okay, if Schoology is presented some trouble, you can do it into the institutional problem, second semester, you know the topic, technology, fourth semester, you know the topic, that is friendship, and sixth semester, you know the topic, that is the professional life of someone that you know that is close to you. How they got the career chosen and now uh, the job experiences that they have so you can have a better idea i hope you don't have any question guys but if you have questions you can contact your teacher to go for more information guys i hope you're doing okay remember three minutes the video no more than that then that's it a good interview take an account the all the advice and all the piece of information that I gave you in the presentation and I will see you soon, I hope so. Have an excellent day and goodbye.